Hello everybody, this is Sam from Tiger's Calling and today we are going to talk about the medius steinum because a lot of students have requested us to discuss on this topic because uh, it confuses a lot of students. So we made it simple, uh, which is understandable. So let's just get started with the medius steinum. The word medius actually means in the middle. So steinum doesn't give any definition. So we have uh, to understand the concept of medius steinum. So medius steinum is an imaginary area, imaginary area which has imaginary boundaries. Uh, and in these boundaries, there are specific, uh, uh, specific parts, which we'll, we will discuss later. But let's get to the definition of medius steinum. It's actually that area between the lungs and plural cavities that stands in the middle of the thoracic cavity. Let me repeat again. Mediastinum is that area between the lungs and the plural, plural cavities that stands in the middle of the thoracic cavity. So mediastinum is in the middle of the thoracic cavity, middle of the two lungs and plural cavities. So what is actual, let's make it simple in this manner that uh, consider this picture that I have made to, made it, to, to simplify it. Just consider that this is the front of the body where you have your ribs and this is the back of your body where you have, you have got the, your vertebra, all right? Vertebral column and there are vertebra. So what is mediastinum? It's just an imaginary area. If you see it from front side, you will find a simple area like that one. But we are we are seeing it from the side. So you are you are having a side view. Uh, this is the front side. This is the back side. So here is the mediastinum, complete area. So uh, uh, what are the boundaries of mediastinum? As you go, as you see, as anteriorly. And here really you see the boundary of mediastinum is it's the sternum. Sternum is the anterior boundary. Posterior boundary are all 12 thoracic vertebra. All 12 thoracic vertebra contributes to the posterior boundary. And the superior boundary actually is, is from jugular notch in the upper limit of T1. And at the and the inferior boundary is formed by the diaphragm. There are only four, four boundaries of this mediastinum. That is in front, the anterior boundary is the sternum, uh, inferior uh, diaphragm, and the superior, for, uh, superiorly, we have got the jugular notch, which is not actually shown in the picture. And we already know, and this area, which is bounded by these all boundaries is called medius steinum. So we, f we can also further divide the medius steinum into two regions. That is superior medius steinum, which has got its own content, and we have got inferior medius steinum. Superior medius, is medius steinum is small, it's not that much big. But the inferior medius steinum is, it have, have occupied a lot of area. So we have divided the medius steinum into three other regions that is inferior middle mediastinum, inferior posterior middle mediastinum, and inferior anterior medi mediastinum. This is the anterior part, this is the middle part, and this is the posterior part of the mediastinum. So, uh, if we're going to discuss about the separation of superior mediastinum from the, uh, from the inferior mediastinum, we have to take some reference points. And the reference points will be external angle. Where is the external angle? This is here, the external angle. The external angle, which is formed at the point where the manubrium articulates with body of sternum. And this is the area where they both articulate. This will be at the level of coastal cartilage that are attached to these second ribs. It actually have to be here. Uh, in the, uh, we have got second rib here, but it's not shown here, but it have, the second rib have to be here. So we will run, a, we will, so from here we will run a line, a line from external angle posteriorly 
And then this, remember that this, these all are imaginary. Even this line is an imaginary. There is no real line in it. So we will run a line from external angle posteriorly, and then that line will intersect between T4 and T5 over here. The boundary which separates superior metast uh, metastinum and inferior metastinum starts uh, at the uh, at the external angle, and uh, when we stretch that line posteriorly between T4 and T5. Everything above is the superior, it comes in the superior metastinum and everything below is in the inferior metastinum. So this is very basic. And let's discuss about the inferior metastinum. I have told you, we have divided inferior metastinum into three parts and the anterior part, this one, which is called inferior and anterior metastinum is the area between sternum anteriorly and posteriorly we have pericardium which is not shown in the picture but i will just show, uh, show up here in the in that picture um, here we have got in the anterior metastinum in anterior inferior metastinum we got area between sternum anterior and pericardium posteriorly but as we go to the posterior metastinum it is actually between more inferior thoracic vertebra and pericardium. So these also all are thoracic vertebra, but we, this is the inferior thoracic vertebra. So we are not mentioning which uh, vertebra, but we are, we are saying that the more inferior thoracic vertebra and pericardium. And everything else in between is considered in the middle metastinum, which we also call it inferior middle metastinum. Oh, one thing more, what contents come inside the metastinum? So uh, the contents which come inside all this metastinum, we're not, uh, we're not talking about any area, but we're talking about all this metastinum. This is it. And uh, the, the thymus gland comes in the metastinum, pericardial sac, heart, a part of trachea is also included in this area, metastinum, and major artery and vents are also included. Actually, the metastinum also serves as a passageway for structures such as the esophagus, thoracic ducts, and various compounds, various components of nervous system. And uh, let's just uh, let's just be uh, be specific about the superior metastinum. We have got uh, veins, that is SVCs, a supervena cava vein, a supervena cava. We have got left and right uh, brachiocephalic veins in the, uh, in the superior metastinum. And we have got few arteries in the superior. Uh, we have got arota, we have got brachiocephalic uh, artery, we have got left common uh, carotid artery, we have got sub left uh, subclavian artery in the superior metastinum. Tynum. So this is it uh, regarding the, this is the basic concept of metastinum, so don't be worried about it. It's just an imaginary area. It's just an imaginary area which we have divided and further divided. Um, it's not a big deal. That's it for today. So see you tomorrow. Don't forget to visit Tiger's Calling.